Well, we have more tonight on the deadly explosion at a chemical disposal business that killed a St. Catharines man last week. Our Adam Atkinson spoke with the man's family today who say it's lucky more people weren't killed. Adam? Thanks. The man killed was 37-year-old Ryan Conkin. I spoke with his sister today who said Ryan was early for work that day and as soon as he opened the door, the building exploded. My first thought was that he was going to be okay, <laughs> and then I googled the um, St. Catharines explosion, and it didn't, it didn't look that way. Nicole Conkin was right. Her younger brother Ryan suffered burns to 99% of his body on Thursday morning. He was put on life support, but passed away the next morning. You don't realize that you have somebody in your life that you don't have to, when you talk to them, you don't have to have a backstory for what you're saying. You don't have to explain the history. You don't you can just blurt it out and they just already get it. They already know everything about you and your history and everything that's ever happened in your life. And you can just talk to them without any reservation and without having any other story. And you don't realize until you lose a sibling that um, you just you literally can never get that kind of relationship back again. Before 37 year old Ryan Conkin died, he told a nurse that all he did was open the door to the Sonics products plant he worked at in St. Catharines. The poor guy, like he was dropped off at 6.30. He went into his or went up to the building, just opened the door and he said it exploded. That morning he was dropped off at work by his fiance Natalia, who he proposed to over Christmas. Had he gone to work on time, like when he was supposed to be there at the, when everybody else was there, I mean, there would have been so many other people dead. His sister has started a GoFundMe page called Keeping Ryan's Spirit Vibrant to help his fiance continue on with his dream of running a food truck. Because he loved the joy of sharing food with people. And so they had just bought this. So they were just launching that. They just got their business license. They were just like finally going to live out his whole dream of everything they were working towards. The GoFundMe page has already raised close to $7,000, but the family's goal is to raise up to 10000 As for the explosion, police and fire officials continue to ask anyone with video to come forward.